The Treasure of the Sierra Madre is one of my favorite movies of all time. Let me repeat that. The Treasure of the Sierra Madre is an absolutely incredible movie, and I'm so excited to be talking to you about this movie today on The Adam Kiss Show. Thanks for tuning in, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever we release new content just for you. Uh, give us a share, give us a like, and comment below what other videos you'd like me to do. Uh, I definitely pay attention to that, so if you give me a comment, I'll, I'll definitely uh, keep it in mind. And, and if, if you don't have any suggestion or movie you'd like me to review, then just feel free to say hi or comment about something else. But I'm definitely listening. I'm here for you. I want to talk about what you want me to talk about, and I'd love to hear some of your favorite movies or, or other movies you'd like me to review. All right, let's get right into Treasure of the Sierra Madre. So Treasure of the Sierra Madre, absolutely legendary film. Uh, Humphrey Bogart stars in the movie. Uh, it was directed by John Huston, also starring Walter Huston, John Huston's father. Uh, and it's, again, one of those movies that I can rewatch anytime. I've only seen it a handful of times, and really the reason for that is because I just don't want to wear it, have it wear out its welcome. It's really a very special movie to me. Uh, it's one of those movies that uh, really has an impact on you. It's definitely had an impact on me. It's, you know, very deep, very meaningful. I suppose it's a Western, technically. Um, essentially, the story is about, you know, these, these guys who go out to find gold, you know, in the mountains to mine for gold. And really, you know, it's, it's a story about, you know, greed, about wanting more, how, you know, when is enough, you know, what, when you should let go. Um, it's, it's about how, you know, sometimes being greedy can lead to you losing everything things like that. And it's really about, you know, human nature, um, what happens, you know, to humans when there's, you know, material possessions involved. Um, I keep bringing up the word greed, but yeah, it's, it's about that. It's about, you know, jealousy, greed, all, all of that, you know, like protectiveness, you know, trust, how much you can trust other people, uh, the deterioration, you know, how, how money uh, or symbol of money or, or whatever can destroy relationships between people, how, you know, everything can, people can change, how things can go out the window. It's about all those big, deep themes in this, in this one movie. Um, I'm really glad that it was a movie directed by John Huston. I think that was a, a great, this was great material for him. And honestly, it's probably Bogart's best acting performance of his life. In this movie, he plays a little bit more of a villain, honestly. Um, he definitely is, I mean, he's sympathetic at times, but I mean, by the end of the movie, he's essentially really the, the villain of the story. Um, in terms of, you know, he, he changes a lot, uh, let's put it that way, when, when money comes into the picture. This is one of those movies that kind of speaks for itself. I feel that there's honestly not that much more I can say about it, except that it's one of my favorite movies. Just the whole aura of it is great. It's really, you know, incredible. Uh, it's been an inspiration to me. I've never obviously done a Western. I'm a filmmaker and a director and a writer and an actor myself, but I've never done a Western. Um, I would absolutely love to do one in the future. I especially love when they're about much more than they're about. Like this is deeply symbolic. It's about the human condition. It's about all of that, which is really, you know, what's important to me. Those are stories that I love to tell, uh, no matter where they're set. I mean, this, this could have been set on Mars. It could have been set in 16th century Italy. It could have been set where it's set. It could have been set anytime. It's really about the characters and human nature. And that's really the same wherever you go. So I hope you enjoyed this review of The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Let me know what other videos you'd like me to do. And that's all, folks.